Welcome to the history and welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. What you see here are some of the artifacts that we come across on our adventures. We research, we travel, we go to locations and we share hundreds and hundreds of videos with you. So I hope you enjoy this little episode where we're going to take you out and we're going to find a little location and uh, we're just going to share what we just stumbled across because sometimes we are actually not sure what could be out there but this time we really learned that there could be greatness out there. These pieces are from uh, many of our trips. This is like a helmet from the Eastern Front. This is a drum magazine from an MG. There's a 20 millimeter anti-aircraft gun position uh, cartridges. We have flak, um, that's 88 millimeter. This is a Panzerabwehrkanon. And this is a uh, Panzer II or Panzer II uh, tank track link uh, setup, which was found on the Eastern Front, east of Berlin. So there's pretty much anything out there that you can ever imagine. This little place that we came to that you're going to see now took us totally by surprise because there was actually pretty much anything you can ever uh, want from the Second World War and especially the German activity. So why don't you join us? Please watch the videos in full. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell and check out that little extra thing that is called Super Thanks. It's kind of a little place where you can tip us if you want to, to let us have some gas in the tank to go and find and explore more locations. All right, let's go out and find the path together right now. There's a lot of stuff in the ground here. It's just a matter of spending time getting it out. And the Germans were here in huge numbers, 200 soldiers. And um, they were here with 200 soldiers. And uh, the main purpose was to have this position, uh, defense it with all means necessary, and be able to attack the Allied ships and aircraft. So there were huge guns here, and when they had huge guns, they also had a lot of gear, and a lot of it, it's been trashed around here. This thing here is pretty unique. This is actually a 20 millimeter anti-aircraft gun munition box. Each and every one of these holes where the tips would go um, to um, each and every 20, yeah, I'm gonna come. Each and every 20 millimeter would be stacked in here. I'm gonna show you a picture of what this looks like when it's kind of half full, the one that we found. So, you see, this is that one that goes to the bottom and there's actually a gasket here, and I'm not sure what that is. That is molten bitumen. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come. And you have this under there. And it's still here, just under our feet. So he managed to bring it back from the past. And this is a box where the German food rations were in. Did you Aluminium. see? Aluminium. One, three, four, seven. One, oh, four, seven, okay. I've never seen a number on them, but inside here, there were flies. Oh. Well, this looks pretty nice, actually. I think we might keep, keep on. To, we think we're gonna hold on to that. No, there were flies in this, only flies. Eli found a couple of lids here. And one thing that is cool with that one, it actually works, and look at that, the green color. It's rusty, and that's a handle. And then we have this thing here. This is one of the containers of the flak gun munitions I said. See that? It's actually meant to be carried like this. And it's in very bad condition, but you get the drift of it. So you can see the spacers, separation, and there are some dampeners in the bottom there. And it's all... And this is what they carried it around with. There's a lot of ceramics. Eglise is gonna collect some of it. Yeah, thank you, you can Uncle. put it in a cup, uh, in a pal, and we'll check them out. This is also one of these, completely destroyed and rusted. See that? Thank you, so this is also from the 37 millimeter flak gun uh, transportation boxes. So they will carry them around like that. Now it's just rusted pieces from the past. Ton of ceramics. And stone. Yeah. These ceramics 
unfortunately not not complete but there are tons of them so if you're very lucky you can find some of them with markings eagle. and some of them yes. yeah you can find the eagle and the date and the producer on the bottom but these pieces are definitely the German stuff because they have this nice very white texture very very cool and a huge cup there as well most of them are broken so it will most probably be very difficult to find some of them with the uh, yeah, that's the lid with the markings on it's a little tiny piece there here are more of the 20 millimeter cases the transportation cases that's one of the separators the bottom plates and not in too bad condition this is one of the boxes it's actually been damaged you see that so maybe they discarded by being damaged by allied raids this is a lid i think for the huge gunpowder cases they had to supply the uh, artillery shells i'm not 100 percent sure but i think it is it's not for it's too heavy to be the 20 millimeter flak kind of lid, but it could be the size looks. Let me see. I think it is. Fits very well. So this is probably the lid for the 20 millimeter and you can carry it in this one. Lock it with that one. And there's another one here. Also completely rusted. Tons of stuff down here. I don't know half of it. Oh, look at that. 20 millimeter cartridge. That is exactly what used to be inside here. Let me show you. Oh, it's here. So, this will be in the bottom. On the way, all the way down there. And this will be in its own rack. And the tip of that will be centralized or centered in these holes. Wow, 20 millimeter anti-aircraft gun. So that's pretty awesome. I like that. A lot of stuff. Another oh, there's another one. Look here. It's a beautiful 20 millimeter. So we have one, two. Look at that. This one is beautiful. Look at the back there. Holy cow, that is so nice. So we're just gonna rumble around and who knows what we're gonna end up with here. Interesting stuff indeed. This is the anti-aircraft gun munition that the Germans used here and it's still here. Did you know that you can become a World War II History Hunter team member and the artifacts here could be passed on to you? In this manner and fashion here, by creating beautiful World War II dioramas and displays, you can be the future keeper of something very, very special by the history and the history hunting that we share together. Check out the link in the video description, you can click that and you can become a patron team member if you want to. Different kind of perks with For Your Eyes Only videos, travel vlogs, restoration projects, all of that good stuff. And if you want to know more, check out the supporter videos in the beginning of each month. But now let's continue our little adventure. And another one. Oh my goodness. That is in very good condition as well. I'm starting to love this. That little hole has now given us three 20 millimeter cartridges in excellent condition. How cool is that? And it's in brass. That is so nice. And I'm, you can see my supporter videos in the beginning of each month. I create beautiful World War II dioramas and I actually put them in there and give them to my supporters. So check out my videos in the beginning of each month. Or you can click the Patreon and PayPal link in the video description underneath there where you put the push the play button. And of course, if you subscribe, hit the comment and all of that, you help us out tremendously. Very nice. Seems like we are in real luck here. There's another one. That's not in good condition. Nevertheless, it's a 20 millimeter. Once upon a time, fired by the German forces here. And now I'm holding it in my hand. Is that crazy cool or what? So 
many different things here. I haven't got a clue what all is, but I just discovered something really, really nice. So I'm gonna let you see that. See that? That is absolutely crazy. That is one of the internal um, electrical systems that used to be inside a bunker. All the electrical and telephone cables and all of that came into the bunker through some huge inlets. And this thing used to be on the bunker. Um, bunker wall. And you can see it down here. All the tags that held the... Uh, there's so many things in the ground here. Electrical stuff and sockets for light bulbs. But to see that there, that is crazy. This is aluminum ground cables very often used to many, many different kind of things. But very often the ground electrical equipment. This is a um, food container, Fla a flash of fish, and I can see a little cup piece there, plate piece, uh, is it a toilet? I'm not sure. There are so many things there. But to see that laying around there, that is just sad. That should have been restored and put into a museum or something. Holy cow. We're gonna always just gonna show you exactly how this works. See that? They would go through that inside the cabinets. Now that's enough. This just do it next to this one. If they're rusty, they won't go through. So this keeps them stuck there. So they don't move. No, no, no. You go. There's rust on it, so they're not gonna go through. And the bottom one, the thinner ones, would then hold the the uh, the tips. I've never seen this piece intact like that. That is crazy. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 100 rounds there in that box. Interesting. Just have to flip some, some soil here. This looks very much to be like a really cool ceramic bottle. There are some markings on these sometimes, and uh, yeah, there's a marking up there. Very distinct. So we're just kind of lifting the soil a little bit, and tons of stuff comes up from there. See here? I see something really cool under the wood here. One twenty millimeter, two twenty millimeter, three twenty millimeter. And God knows how many more. Four, 20 millimeter. See that? It's everywhere in the ground here. Drag them out. Uh, I'm actually under a root. So, oh, sorry about that. See that? They are really, in really, really bad condition. So they are iron. And that's not a condition you're looking for. You want them to be brass. But look, look at that, is that cool or what? Pouring out from under there. And just to find one is magnificent to find so many of this gun here. Makes it pretty cool. Interesting details. Is that a 303 maybe? From the activity after the Germans surrendered, huh? I'm not sure. And then you have backlight switches for the barracas and the bunkers still here on the ground fascinating how many small details there are very often it will read siemens and you can also read some codes for the backlight producers so it's very interesting to find these things here absolutely interesting that's from a german stick hand grenade yep this is where the screw on the top and the wooden piece would be down here. I'm going to hold like that and show it to you. So you see, all kinds of things here and the uh, stick hanger would be a typical issued item to a German soldier no matter where he was. Nice. Huge bottle. 
can't find any markings or names or anything. Could be medicine perhaps, I'm not sure. Ointment. But it's here. In very good condition actually. That's a very nice find. That's actually ammo box hinge. Maybe not that important for people, but to put it into context and I create my dioramas, this would be wonderful to have in there. And in very good condition. Cool. Yes, they are just items or pieces from the past, especially from the German World War II activity out there in Europe, on the Atlantic Wall and on the Eastern Front, Western Front. But they are pieces of uh, what took place there. It's the personal pieces for the soldiers, of the soldiers. It could be a beer bottle like this one here, it could be a cartridge for a 20 millimeter, it could be a ceramic plate from the Luftwaffe, or it could even be a panzer hatch uh, hinge from a panzer. They're all playing their part in the uh, different locations, battlefields, and the happenings of that specific time. So I think it's pretty cool to find them and uh, interesting to dig into. And I have to say, each and every little item has its story and it helps us to understand more of the grand picture of what took place at the location. And I'm very glad that we can actually go out and share that with you. As you can see here as well, these are the shadow boxes that I create together with my son, especially. And uh, we passed them on to you, as I said. So if you really want to help us out to reach more locations, all you can do is to watch videos in full length. You can subscribe, hit the comment field, give us a little thumbs up, a heart, or you can even test out this little um, thing that YouTube rolled out. It's called the Super Thanks. And it's a little thing where you can kind of Give us a little tip of uh, <laughs> towards what we're doing, you know. So it's simple to use and uh, it really, really helps us out to reach more targets be because we have a ton that is just a little bit of what we have that we're going to do la the next few months, our project folder, and it's never going to be empty. And that's thanks to all of you beautiful people out there supporting our work. And each and every penny goes into the fuel tank or food on the road or whatever just to get us out there so we can share these fabulous locations and the stories that they want to share with us. All right, thank you for being here. Thank you all my Patreon and PayPal supporters. You are the guys and girls who makes this come true and we will definitely meet you out there in the next adventure. So stay safe, keep smiling and uh, see you later.